today will be the most expensive item I have ever unboxed on Linus Tech Tips by a fairly significant margin, I might add. This is the OCZ Velo Drive, PCI Express solid state drive. And what makes this so expensive is the fact that it is a 1.2 terabyte, yes, a 1.2 terabyte SSD. Pretty cool. Featuring Sandforce 1565 controllers. Uh, that is multiple ones. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So you can see it comes in a fairly plain brown box. It is shrink wrapped. So we're gonna go ahead and relieve it of its shrink wrap prison. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So this is more of an enterprise grade solution rather than being uh, consumer oriented. So no, the expectation from OCZ is not that average Joe is spending five grand on a 1.2 terabyte SSD for his gaming system, but there is a market for this stuff. So the product does exist. Let's go ahead and take off the cover. As you can imagine, they don't you know, produce a ton of these. So there isn't like a special box just for the 1.2 terabyte SSD. Let's see what we got inside here. So first we have a low profile bracket, which also includes, what else is in here? Some thermal interface material, DIY, and a heat sink. All right, so we've got a heat sink and a thermal pad. Oh, okay, so it looks like when you put on the low profile bracket, the heat sink is no longer attached, so you have to attach a you have to attach a new one. There's actually ventilation back here, so this must be a pretty toasty card in an installed scenario. Okay, so next we have Sorry guys, my battery died. Got it replaced now. And here it is. The 1.2 terabyte Velo drive. So how many Sandforce controllers do we have? We have one, two, uh, three, four. So this is a double-decker PCB, much like the Revo Drive 3X2 products. Uh, they are using Intel NAND. Okay, so we've got, what is this, six, 12 chips per controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back. So you won't see any controllers on the back because the controllers for this PCB are in between. Okay, so what, what kind of density is that? So these must be using some of the highest density chips out there. If we have 1.2 terabytes, so that's equivalent to four 240 gigs. No, hold on, 480, no. What are these things? Give me a sec. You know what, I'm gonna confess, I actually don't know exactly what the densities of these chips are, but I can tell you that there are 12 times four, 48 chips. So uh, basically what it comes down to is how much spare area OCZ has left. So if you guys remember, when the Vertex 2 originally launched, it was a Vertex 2 5100 or 200 gig, and then they had an extended version which actually didn't have any more chips on it, and those were 6120 and 240. So depending how much leftover area or spare area they've left, which I would imagine is quite a bit on an enterprise drive, this could be anywhere from the equivalent of four 360 gig drives up to four 480 gig drives, depending how much left over they have. Either way, I'm telling you, these are very high density chips, and this is a very, very serious business controller card. So here's that heat sink I was talking about before. So right under there is, in all likelihood, actually, why don't we just, why don't we just find out what's under there? Give me a sec. All right. So since this is obviously meant to be user swappable, we're gonna take off that stock bracket. Go ahead and move those screws. We got one more screw here that goes into that top PCB. Okay, so this is a $5,000 SSD I'm working on right now. And we're gonna find out exactly what chip that is. So that is an LSI chip, LSI SAS 2004. I don't know what controller that is. Okay, Fusion MPT. I'm not familiar with this particular piece right here, but I can tell you guys right now, it is made by LSI. So unlike the Revo level, consumer level S, um, P, 
PCI Express SSDs, which are generally using sort of a more of a tier, tier three solution. This is using a tier one RAID solution, which looks like a serious chip in terms of the horsepower that it's delivering because you do have to have this cooler on it, as you can see the other side. This one has the thermal interface material pre-applied, so that'll show you how you are intended to uh, assemble the low profile bracket should you require it. Uh, it has a PCI Express 8X interface. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So that's giving you a ton of bandwidth between the system and the SSD itself. And in terms of specs, they actually include almost no information with the product whatsoever. I guess the assumption is that if you're buying one of these, you already know everything there is to know about it and you're fairly certain you need one because if you're buying a $5,000 SSD and you end up not needing it, I don't know too many retailers who are going to be like, yeah, sure, no problem, just bring that back, full refund, no big deal. So uh, there you go. This is the OCZ Velo Drive 1.2 terabyte PCIe 8X SSD. You saw it unboxed first here on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe.